Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can add a 3D head to your Instagram filters in the Spark AR Studio, so let's start! Hey again, so let's create a 3D head filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to import our 3D model. There are two options to get a 3D model. The first is you have your own 3D model, which you can just import here in the Spark AR Studio. Or the second um, option is the one I will do here, is to yeah, get a 3D model from the Spark AR asset library. So let's start with importing our 3D head. So for this, as I already said, we go to the Spark AR asset library on the left side here of the Spark AR studio, then click on it and this window will pop up. Here we select the 3D objects tab and then, then search for head. So now you have a big collection of different heads you can use um, yeah, for your Instagram filter and yeah, Maybe you have to log in first to um, get um, access to all the Sketchfab um, 3D models, but this is a very simple process. So now just select a head you like. I will yeah, go with this one, select it and then just click on import free. So now Spark AR will download the 3D model and import it automatically to the Spark AR studio. So after the download is done, um, we can close our AR library. So now we will find our 3D model in our assets panel here in this Spark AR Studio. Now just drag and drop the 3D model into your scene. So after you have imported the 3D model, most of the time they are way too big, um, so we have to scale them down. So just select the head in the scene, go to the right hand side and play around with the scale value. So I will yeah, scale down this from 1 to 0 0.15 on all three axes. So now it looks much better, but at the moment it is yeah, locked in the middle of the screen. So it is very static. To, yeah, to change this, we need a face tracker in our scene. So go to your scene panel, click on the plus and search for face tracker. So just insert it and then the face tracker is here in your scene as this yellow object. Now the head is still um, yeah, um, static in the middle of the frame, but to change this go to the scene and then drag and drop the head into the face tracker. So now the head is moving with the face, but as you can see this doesn't look good because we can't see our face. So. And um, to change this, we need another asset from the Spark AR asset library. So again, go to the asset library, then click on the home tab and search for occluder. So now you should find this blocks section here with this head occluder from the Spark AR asset library. Just click on it and again click on import free. So after the download is done, we will also find this um, head occluder blocks block under the blocks in the assets panel. So now we can just drag and drop the head occluder in our scene. So at the moment nothing has changed because we have to make sure that our head occluder is above our face tracker here in the scene. This is very important and when you have done this you can already see that there is a change that now you can see my face again. But the head is not aligned correctly so for this to change this, just go to your um, yeah, 3D space here, then select the head under the face tracker and now just drag and drop it around until you're happy with the outcome here in the 3D space. You can turn it here or scale it, but with this model I don't need to turn around, so I just can use it this way and then a little bit back. And now you see when it is too much, the head occluder will appear and cut out the, the head. So yeah, this is just play around. And as you can see now, it needs a little bit of rotation. So I will change to the rotation tool here and then yeah, just rotate it a little bit back. And now it looks pretty nice to me. Also, yeah, when it is too big or small, again, scale it down or up. But now I think this looks pretty nice. Um, as you can see here, it yeah, we successfully created a head filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of patience to, 
to this right so you also have to yeah, test it on your device and then <clears throat> adjust the head again but yeah those are the basics to create a head filter here in this buggy r studio i hope i could help you with this video if yes give it a thumbs up and if you are new on my channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye